Okay, I'm introducing my latest Arduino project here, and this is a Morse code player. It's not a decoder, it's not a transmitter, it's just a player. So um, what we're getting here is both visual and audio Morse code, uh, visual through the LED lights that light up here as the code is sent over, and audio through the... Um, little buzzard it's on here though. It actually works better when you put a finger on top of the buzzer. it presses down the diaphragm so it gives you a more of a kind of a classic tone. Anyway this is a really simple setup and um, it's kind of difficult to hold my camera in one hand and try to point out to you um, how the wiring is done on here but it's very simple. I found the schematic for it online and what I will do is I will post a link to the schematic if anybody wants to um, wants to uh, you know build one of these themselves and I also found the code for this but the problem with the code was um, I found a bunch of um, uh, mistakes in it I had to correct the um, code for the letter D and I also added in all of the numbers because the numbers weren't in there. So what I'll do is I'll also post the code for this. And it's it's actually one of the more simple Arduino projects that you could probably do because essentially all it is here is a flashing LED and a signal over, I mean, a wired-in buzzer, and, and that's it. And the, the hardest thing was just typing in all of the... Um, you know, the the code commands for the dots and dashes. But once I figured out what this person had done, they did all the hard work on the code. I just came in and corrected the one mistake for D. And as I said, I went on to the uh, Wikipedia page for Morse code. And on it, they give you the whole international Morse code. So it was a simple thing to come in here and just correct all the dots and dashes for the numbers. So this is the actual project page here, Arduino Morse code. It's on instructables.com, and I'll post a link to this down in the description. I'll also copy the, um, the Arduino code that I used, and I'll put that in the description below. But as you can see here, it's a really simple diagram. Those are easy parts. Probably anybody that has a kit has them in their um, Arduino parts already. And this is the little circuit diagram that I followed. And it gives you some photos showing the wiring. I did a slightly different wiring configuration for the buzzer. And I didn't use a little a miniature speaker like they're using. I used one of these little piezo or piezo buzzers that are really common on eBay and that kind of thing. And uh, just went ahead and here's the, he gives the code in here. But again, it does have mistakes in it. So um, I will go ahead and upload all of that for you. And if you build one... Send me a Morse code message with it and see if you can, uh, you know, uh, if you figure out a way to get this to go over to like an LCD display that will actually decode the, the letters as and the numbers as they're coming out, please share it with me because that's the next thing that I want to try to accomplish. Oh, before we go, let me just type in another quick message on this and give you an idea of how the how the code actually works. So at the top of here, there's a character string. You can see where the cursor is blinking on here. And then in there you can uh, you can type in whatever it is, the message that you want to send. And I'll do S-T-R-A. Just bear with me a second here. I'm typing with one hand while I hold my phone. And then you just simply Hit the upload button, and it starts to upload down there. And it takes it a second to come through. And let it go one more time. And 
And also I should point out inside of here, inside the code, there, um, the guy, I left in place all of his instructions that tells you uh, things that you can do to speed up and slow the code down. I haven't figured that out because it's, it's going out, I think, about maybe 10 to 15 words per minute right now. And you know, I might want to slow it down a little bit because I'm not very fast on Morse code either. So that's the next thing I'll play around with. And if I figure that out, I'll also post a video to that. So anyway, kind of proud of this. Um, I've been. This is the main reason why I got into Arduino was I wanted to create a beacon. And uh, naturally, this one will not transmit on its own. It's just again, like I said, it's just a player for you know visual and for the audio. But it's a step forward towards that ultimate goal of mine. Anyway, thanks for watching.